So it feels like I've been waiting for at least a couple weeks for some big news. I mean, yeah, we got the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, which was really nice, but that's basically been it. It's been radio silent on Nintendo's front, but that seems to be changing as of today, or really as of a couple days ago, and we're just now getting wind of everything that's happening here, and I have enough information to actually talk about it. Now, first, before we get into the news, I want to remind you to drop a like on this video. The more of you guys that like this video, the more people that get to see the video. The YouTube's algorithm works out that likes and dislikes and all that jazz end up leading to more people getting notifications. So there you go. Let's just get into the news. Now, uh, it came out recently that Sony and Microsoft are teaming up for the Azure Cloud to become a cloud gaming service for Sony. Now, the Azure Cloud is also the gaming service that Project X Cloud that Microsoft is using will run on, which isn't a surprise considering that Azure is Microsoft's cloud service. So, obviously, there's going to be some interconnectivity there. And in the world of cloud, there's really only a few options out there. And for gaming purposes, really only two of them one of them basically being Amazon, the other one being Microsoft. You could argue. Google would be a viable option, but Google also has Google Stadia, and they don't seem to be wanting to share that technology with other game streaming services, probably for competitive reasons. That's why it's so interesting to see Sony team up with Microsoft. Now, you might think I'm just blowing smoke up your butt, but we actually have an official press release from Sony. So let's go over it, and then we'll get into why this matters for Nintendo. It says, Sony and Microsoft to explore strategic partnership, companies to collaborate on new cloud-based solutions for gaming experiences and AI solutions. Uh, this comes from Tokyo and Redmond, Washington. Uh, Sony Corporation and Microsoft Corporation announced on Thursday that the two companies will partner on new innovations to enhance customer experiences in direct-to-consumer entertainment platforms and AI solutions. Under the memorandum and understanding signed by the parties, the two companies will explore joint development of future cloud solutions in Microsoft Azure to support their respective game and content streaming services. In addition, the two companies will explore the use of current Microsoft Azure data center based solutions for Sony's game and content streaming services. By working together, the companies aim to deliver more enhanced entertainment experiences for their worldwide customers. These efforts will also include building better development platforms for the content creator community. As a part of the memorandum of understanding, Sony and Microsoft will also explore collaboration in areas of semiconductors and AI for semiconductors. This includes potential joint development of new intelligent image sensor solutions. By integrating Sony's cutting-edge image sensors in with Microsoft's Azure AI technology in a hybrid manner across cloud and edge, as well as solutions that leverage Sony's semiconductors and Microsoft cloud technology, the companies aim to provide enhanced capabilities for enterprise customers. In terms of AI, the parties will explore incorporation of Microsoft's advanced AI platform and tools in Sony's consumer products to provide highly intuitive and user-friendly AI experiences. Sony is a creative entertainment company with a solid foundation of technology. We collaborate close with a multitude of content creators that capture the imagination of the people around the world and through our cutting edge technology provide the tools that bring their dreams and vision to reality, said Kenshiro Yoshida, president and CEO of Sony. PlayStation itself came about through the integration of creativity and technology. Our mission is to seamlessly evolve this platform as one that continues to deliver the best and most immersive entertainment experiences together with a cloud environment that ensures the best possible experience anytime anywhere for many years microsoft has been a key business partner for us though the course of the two companies have also been competing in some areas i believe that in our joint development of future cloud solutions will contribute greatly to the advancement of interactive content additionally i hope that in areas of semiconductors and ai leveraging each company's cutting edge technology is a mutually complementary way to lead the creation of new value for society and then just some general information on Sony and Microsoft. Now, this is obviously huge for many reasons because it does mean that while they are directly competing companies, they recognize the importance of cloud gaming. And obviously, Microsoft is going to want Sony's cloud services to be on their cloud because it just gives them a leg up in the whole cloud computing space, especially when they're competing against Google and potentially Amazon in the future. So uh, this has been a great move, at least for Microsoft's side of things and probably for Sony's as well, as long as the cloud technology is ready and prepared to be, you know, put out there on a massive scale for video games. So again, this is really cool news, but how does this impact Nintendo? Well, 
Apparently a lot more than you might think. Now, the following comes from an insider, from an analyst, from someone who attends all the Nintendo investors meetings and um, has a lot of inside sources, David Gibson on Twitter. And oh boy, does he elaborate first with some thoughts of his and then with some information that we can't ignore. So you see him saying here in response to Benji Sales, who reported on the official press release and all that, that it's a big deal that Sony didn't have the cloud infrastructure to offer cloud service. So their choice was either AWS, which is Amazon, or Azure. Plus, they both know if they use the, sta the same standards for streaming, like current generation consoles do around PC architecture, then consumers win. Plus, it means more likely for Sony and Microsoft to be the streaming winners again, despite new entrants, aka Google Stadia. Where does that leave Nintendo? Likely an agreement with Microsoft and even perhaps Sony to offer their streaming services on Switch. Now that seems speculative, by the way, but you can understand why that would be a huge deal. Now, this is where it gets really juicy. But also, Nintendo itself is looking also to work with Microsoft Azure to offer its own streaming service in limited regions such as Japan and the United States. So then we end up with streaming winners being Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, just like the current system, but with Azure as the backbone. Their prospective studios are crucial to that process and offering a compelling user proposition. More things change, the more it stays the same. So this, my friends, is huge. What David Gibson is inferring is that Microsoft and Sony's streaming services for their respective platforms may be available on Nintendo platforms in the future, which means, <clears throat> that's right, being able to play Sony and Microsoft and AAA third-party games on Switch through their streaming services, but that is speculative. It's probably really good speculation based on the inside information he has, but still speculative. But what isn't speculative, what is him putting it out there, is that he is hearing that Nintendo is also working out a partnership with Microsoft to create their own streaming service. You guys remember back when Google Stadia, or I guess it was called Project Stream at the time, uh, last year when they when they had um, the the whole Assassin's Creed Odyssey and all that going on. And I talked to you guys about how Nintendo needs to get their foot in the door with game streaming. And largely Nintendo has kind of said, no, we don't need to do that. And they've just kind of left it at that and uh, skirted around the whole issue and say they're not really concerned about competing in that way. Well, bottom line is that might be what they say publicly. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going on behind the scenes. Nintendo might be extremely forward thinking here and might actually be with the times in creating their own streaming service. I said they needed to do it, and it appears that they are probably most likely doing it. Now, uh, you might say, well, that's just one person out there. I'm going to throw my hat, hey, like, my, my hat in the ring here. Uh, when I heard about this story, I reached out to some people that I know within the industry and uh, tried to get some confirmation. And of the three people I reached out to, all three of them told me that Nintendo and Microsoft are actually in talks right now on a Nintendo-based cloud system for video games. So it is a thing. It's real, at least as far as my sources are telling me. Uh, but again, this information initially came from David Gibson, so give him all the credit here. I'm just kind of doing my own research and realizing, oh, wait, this is like a, a legit thing that could be happening here. Now, there's no idea based on who I talked to about when this service might be coming out. Uh, you know, whether it's the end of this year, whether it's next year, my best bet's probably 2020, 2021. Uh, but either way, uh, it's huge that Nintendo is partnering with a proven company uh, to get out a gaming stream service and that Nintendo might be open to allowing other companies gaming stream services, including maybe even Google Stadia, by the way. We can't rule that out on Switch and other Nintendo platforms moving forward. I think this is just brilliant. This basically blows the door off of everything when, with gaming and opens up every possible opportunity for Nintendo to be successful regardless of how powerful their hardware is, which is a big deal for Nintendo and a big deal for Nintendo gamers who have really good internet connections, but they don't always have the best hardware and they would like to play the latest AAA games on the Switch. So I think this is awesome. So now look, you might not be into Nintendo's game streaming service. You might still prefer to buy all of Nintendo games physically or digitally and all that stuff. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But but think about the opportunity of potentially having Sony and Microsoft's 
s- systems on Nintendo. Being able to play Halo and The Last of Us Part Two and Death Stranding and God of War and Gears of War and like being able to grab all these IPs from these other companies that would otherwise not be built to run on Switch be running on Switch through the streaming service. That to me is the real shocker here. Uh, and it's not known at this point if Microsoft's going to allow Sony's streaming service on Xbox and if Sony's going to allow Microsoft's streaming service on PlayStation 5, but uh, I, I don't know that that's exactly how far that partnership goes. They definitely aren't saying that publicly, but uh, for Nintendo to potentially have both on their platform shows that one, neither company is really worried about what Nintendo is doing hybrid-wise to compete with them, and two, they just want a bigger audience for their services. So I honestly think that this is brilliant. Obviously, this is uh, basically the way to combat Google Stadia is for Microsoft to be like, look, we can't just do our own thing. We want these other companies also using our services and making their own streaming platforms running on it because then Google can kind of compete against the entire game industry as we know it today versus just competing with themselves. Now, there's still some differences here because Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony would still have their own like instances and own platforms within Azure. It's not this one giant interconnected thing like Google Stadia is, but you know what? Um, it's a big win for Microsoft. I think it's a brilliant move uh, for Sony, and I think if Nintendo is doing this, as my sources and David Gibson are saying, then this is big for Nintendo. I My mind is swimming in the possibilities of what cloud gaming can be for Switch. Uh, basically, there is a future uh, that as long as I have good internet, I can pretty much play any game that exists as long as it is on either one of those three streaming platforms um, on a Nintendo system. This makes it so I don't need to own a PlayStation or an Xbox someday. Um, That's huge. And what if Nintendo brings their service to PlayStation and Xbox? Like, you literally would be offering a potential future here where all three gaming companies are working together to make it where customers are just choosing the platform so they get to play the game in the way they want to play it. But they also have access to everything. And I love a future where, even if it's just through streaming, the gamers have access to everything. Now, again, we've seen how Google Stadia works. We haven't seen how Microsoft's Xtreme and, and the Sony and Nintendo systems work yet. But uh, this is big. This is a game changer for the entire video game industry anyways you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below i also want to apologize for the lighting i realize i don't have my studio lights on me right now and uh i look a little grainy maybe a little dark i'm I'm sorry i just um having a a physical issue at the moment that's not enabling me to uh set things up the way that i would like but um i just ask you guys to please hang in there and uh don't worry i'm okay i'll be all right uh that being said uh be sure to enter our nintendo switch super smash Bros. ultimate giveaway through the gleam.io link down in the description that's that bundle giveaway that's the switch and smash special edition all that great stuff um otherwise thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video